Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you everyone? I hope you are all well by the grace of Allah dear Allah. Welcome to NIEPS Home School. I am Nasima Akhtar, Assistant Teacher of Science, National Idea, in University School, Monarchy. Dear student, today I am going to take a elementary science class for class 4 students. Dear students, this is our first science class of this year. Dear students, our today's topic is chapter 1. Let's see today's topic. Our today's topic is chapter 1 and the name of this chapter is Living Things and Environment. Living Things and Environment. And uh, this is Hopefully Examination. This is lecture number one. And students, this is your science book. And today we will start from this page. This is page number two. So dear students, let's begin the class. Living things and environment. This is the first point living things in their environment. We observe different living things and environment. Uh, sorry, we observe different living things and events around us. Different living things and events around us. All those things, living things. Events make our environment. There are different types of environments such as natural and man-made environment. Different living things live in different environments. In this chapter, we shall learn about the needs of living things to survive. Here is a picture of natural environment. You can see this is a forest environment. Here are some animals, birds, trees, river. This all are natural environment. And here is man-made environment. You can see here is buildings, bus, car, so roads. All are man-made environment. Now, here is next page, page number 3 is living things need food, habitat, shelter, water and care to survive. We know living things need food, habitat, shelter, water and care to survive. Without this, we can't live. Food. Animals must have to eat food, get energy and nutrients for survival. They get food from plants or other animals in the environment. Plants also need energy and nutrients but they do not eat food like animals. Plants can make their own food by themselves. Plants can make their own food by themselves. Students, you can underline this line. This line is important for your finish the lines. Now, habitat and shelter. All living things need habitats. All living things need habitats. A habitat is a special place where plants grow and animals living. So this is the definition of habitat. You can also mark this line also. So I am repeating this line. A habitat is a special place where plants grow and animals live. Animals also need shelter. A shelter is a place where animals can be safe. A shelter is a place where animals can be safe. So this one is important. Now. You can mark out this. Shelter provides 
or adverse weather condition such as rainfall and storms. Some animals such as birds make nests in the trees for shelter. Water. Next point is water. No living things can survive without water. No living things can survive without water. Plants use water when they make food. Plants use water when they make food. Animals drink water to help digest their food. Many plants may many plants and animals live in water. So many plants and animals live in water. You can see this picture here is many living things live in water. There's fish, some plants, so their habitat is water. Yeah, air yeah, is very important for living things. Plants use carbon dioxide from air and give off oxygen into air when they make food. I'm repeating this slide. This slide is important. Plants use carbon dioxide. Plants use carbon dioxide from air and give off oxygen into air when they make food. Mark this slide also. Animals use the oxygen from air and give off carbon dioxide. Animals use oxygen that means we we take oxygen from air and give off carbon dioxide. Living things get all the necessary things for their survival from the environment. So, living things get all the necessary things for their survival from the environment. You can see this picture. Air is important for living things. This is an animal. Um, it uh, takes Oxygen from uh, air and um, oxygen released from plants and this oxygen, uh, this uh, animal take this oxygen and give off uh, carbon dioxide into uh, air again. Now this page, this is page number 5 in your book. We can see here is a nice picture making food by plants. Making food by plants. Now we know that plants can make their own food by themselves. So here is a picture. This is a, a plant. It takes um, water from soil by the root and uh, carbon dioxide uh, from carbon air. And then, it, uh, at the presence of sunlight, it makes food in their green parts and give off oxygen into air. Plants cannot grow well without sunlight and water. Plants make food using sunlight and water. They also use carbon dioxide in air to make food. They use the food they make in order to get the energy for survival and growth. Plants need sunlight, water and carbon dioxide of air in order to make food. Students, you can underline this line also and this line also. Underline this whole para. This is important for your filling the blanks. So, dear students, I have finished my today's topics. Today, uh, I will not give uh, you any SW, but you have to uh, keep practice at uh, your home these uh, topics because I will ask you question from here in our live classes. So dear students, keep practicing at home and stay home and we'll see you again in our next class. Till then, Assalamualaikum.